Winston Edmondson here with Studio B at IBM Edge 2013. We've got a very special guest, Joseph King with CAS Severn. Now, Joseph just got a very prestigious award from IBM. Tell us a little bit about this, uh, this recognition. Well, thanks, Winston. CAS Severn was awarded uh, the Winning Edge Award for uh, storage uh, sales in the East. And, and I'd just like to say it's our second year winning this Winning Edge Award. <laughs> Last year we won it in Federal, this year in the East. So. I guess we're, you know, we're really executing how There's IBM no would stopping, like us no, to. No stopping you guys. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, you take a look at, you know, when that Winning Edge Award and the awardees that I'm sure you've been talking with, you know, it really comes down to, you know, how are they doing in the market? How are they growing their business? But let's really get down to it. It's how they're executing with customers and how are they really using whatever area they want, whether it be storage, pure system, system X, and transforming their client's business in, 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 a, in a way that really makes an impact on a day-to-day you know, part of that of that client's uh, of that client's IT business, and, and, and it, in the end, it really goes to their bottom line. So I think it's very important. Now, one of the factors that I've noticed uh, throughout with some of the companies that have gotten recognition is their mastery over the, the the topic, the subject. Absolutely, they're able to really just relay all the information. So, tell us a little bit about the expertise that you guys bring to the table. Well, I think we're, if you take a look at CAS Severin, is as we like to say, is we like to do the hard work and the heavy lifting. And, and it, I mean, anybody can drop a box off at your door. I mean, doing delivery, let's be honest, that, that's not the hard part. Really making this integrated into a customer environment is really what's important. So let's talk about, for instance, we're working with a regional hospital in, in Maryland, creating what they're calling the medical grade infrastructure, or MGI. Now, what are we trying to do with that? So in the MGI project was around a couple things. Meaningful use stage two, they needed to encrypt all of their hospital data. They didn't want to have to pick and choose, so we came up with a solution on just encrypting everything. That's encrypting data at rest. That's encrypting uh, their primary data. And then they also said, that, like, we want to get away from things like um, you know, an active passive data center. We don't want to do disaster recovery. We want to have our data available to us no matter whether we have a data facility failure or not. So we worked with them using IBM technology, virtual storage center, IBM DS8870s, and we created this medical grade infrastructure with them that's gonna allow them to transform their business. So if you take a look, what is that gonna do to patient care? So, you know, storm rolls through the area, might knock out that primary data center, you know, maybe someone's having surgery. Maybe they need to be able to take a look in what, how, you know, what medicines is that, you know, individual allergic to, you know, what were some of the previous work that's been done. It's going to impact patient care. And I think that's just, just one example of the type of project that we do at CAS Severin that, you know, really it's not fulfillment. It's really developing a solution that has a profound impact on a client. And that's really what we do. That's powerful. And, it, you know, kind of hits right at home. We're from Dallas and just not too long ago in Oklahoma, you had the tornadoes that came through and leveled some, some hospitals. And so just like you said, uh, you're, you're talking about solutions that really empower these facilities to continue to, to, to continue to operate uh, because of, of these uh, these hybrid systems that kind of keep keep all this information this data available no oh, absolutely and, and, and it's that it's that impact that's important and it's not as we say in the industry it's not the lead speeds and feeds you know of these products that's important it's again you know creating that impact for your clients you know having a uh, an impact that matters and and that's really what we strive at CAS Severn to do, you know. So again, you know, we've you know that's the second year in a row winning the Winning Edge Award uh, for storage. So you know, I guess we must be executing pretty well. And we're I mean we're just really happy. It's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> and, it really and is. So uh, in a couple of years they're going to have to give you a special ring to signify uh, <laughs> your consecutive wins. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Now when customers come to you, I would imagine a lot of times they don't know exactly what they want or need. They're coming to you for for guidance. Walk me through um, how this works, how, how this, uh, you know, how you are gathering information and, and you determine what needs to be done. Walk me through that process. Well, I guess that's, that's really the fun part of the job and quite honestly, why, why I do what I do. So you take a look at what, what's my role is I'm the vice president of pre-sales consulting at CAS Severn. I mean, I have a top-notch team. I have a top-notch team, average tenure on my team, at CAS Severn is about is about 10 years. Average tenure of my team in the industry is probably closer to about 15. Wow. All right, so you take a look at, you know, these folks are trained, skilled individuals. They understand the technology, but they really understand business. 
most of my folks that are solution architects for me, they came from running an IT business. So they're able to go into an go into a client, take a look at, you know, what are your challenges? What are you really looking to do? Let me relate to something in my background that I was able to do. Now let's see and, and let's take a look at where we're able to do with great technology, like from our friends at IBM to, to you know to really let's solve that problem to get that profound impact that we talked about with the medical grade infrastructure. So they they can immediately kind of just connect the dots of all these Absolutely. Interesting, I like that. So I guess that would be the best practices. Have a team like yours. Have a team. Have a team if you know you go and you find the best and you and you really um, and it's a, it's a culture. So our you know our culture at CS Severn is really to provide. We like to call it it's the intelligent answers. Provide those intelligent answers that are going to have that impact on your customers' business. They're going to have an impact on whatever their business is, whether that's you know healthcare, uh, whether that's be manufacturing, you know distribution, insurance, and and really uh, you know just getting down to um, you know to that intelligent answer that you know, has that impact, and that, that's what's really important. So you guys are out in the field, you're getting firsthand, um, you know, these topics and these problems, the recurring problems that customers are bringing to you. What are some trends that you're uh, able to identify uh, as you solve these problems? <laughs> well, I think one of the ones, so let's talk about one in particular. So we like to say in this, and with IBM, one thing we like to say is, you know, let's try to just store less. You know, so, so data, uh, just the amount of data that an average organization has is just exploding. And I'm not going to go into all the IDC numbers or all the Gartner numbers on all that. I mean, it, it, they can you know, go on with, here we know, it'll always be growing and it's never <laughs> going to stop. So what are we doing from, a, you know, from an IBM technology standpoint? Things like real-time compression. So we're able to go into a client and this was, uh, is going to have a profound impact on them. What's it going to be able to do? We're going to be able to reduce their data load by 60% wow. just by using IBM's real-time compression. Now, you take a look now, what does that do? Now, that's able to sit there and tilt a cost curve for them. So maybe instead of them making that next large investment, having to make that next large storage investment, maybe in three months, maybe we're able to push that to nine months. 12 months. Now what are we able to do with that? We're able to use that capital that would have been tied up with that investment, use it to another part of their business in order to have innovation in another area. So maybe we're able to take that compression savings, then use that into maybe data analytics, maybe taking a look at, let's take a look at you know, your organization and let's say you want to have more intelligence in, in your market and you really you know, want to be able to squeeze that. And that's what a lot of what you've seen folks like today, you know, Jeff Jonas was uh, doing a talk uh, in the main tent uh, this morning on that fact. So if you, you know, there might be like a direct impact, but really what we're trying to do is we are free up that money for innovation. You know, try to get folks off that you know that maintenance cycle. You know, trying to get to where they're able to uh, you know to to really innovate. So. Remarkable, that really is. So let's talk about um, savings as far as personnel, because a lot of these solutions I would imagine enable uh, customers to rely less on actual people sitting there and doing a kind of a, a mundane job, you're able to, to kind of have the software do that. Tell me about what you've experienced. Well, let's do a specific example on that. So around, let's say, virtual desktop infrastructure. So we've teamed with you know, IBM and some of their great reference architectures that they've done in that, in that virtual desktop space. Now, what we've been able to do, we've been able to take a headcount that might be sitting there you know, you know, replacing PCs a relatively mundane task, and again, let's get to them for innovation. So we've been able to retask, retrain those people that might have just been delivering PCs, delivering monitors, and got to where you know they're you know really working in the data center, creating those virtual environments. Now what they're able to do, not access that data just from their desk, access access that data on an iPad, on a tablet, wow. maybe at home. Now, and then let's be be able to do that where it's encrypted protected. And now, you know, if a laptop gets lost at an airport, you know, maybe we're able to that not have such a profound business impact yeah. and they're not going to end up in the newspaper. <laughs> so, you know, again, we've taken a, you know, headcount, retrain them into something that's innovative instead of mundane. Again, profound business impact when you do that. This is real uh important business strategy. I mean, yeah, a lot of people I think uh, imagine IT as uh, just kind of a necessary, you know, the, 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 the computer geeks in there doing, doing the necessary. No, but this is so strategic because like you said, you're freeing up resources, you're able to uh, advance areas that prior to this have, have not had the funding or had the, uh, the, the manpower 
to, to move forward. Absolutely, Winston. And, and you take a look at it as, again, going from IT as being a cost center, as being a part of the innovation of an organization. And I think we really believe strongly at CS7, and when we talk with our clients about that, what we're talking about there is that business impact. The product will happen. It's defining what that business impact is going to be. And, and, and that's really you know, how we, you know, I, let's be honest, I think that's one of the things how we're executing that I think IBM saw you know, in awarding us that, that the Winning Edge Award two years in a row is that impact. So. so I know you have to run, but let me ask just a, a few more questions. When you uh, talk to your customers, do you get the sense that uh, you're still having to talk them into these things and, and, and really put it out there in a way and sell them? Or are we at the point where it's pretty well known that these opportunities are out there and, and you're just um, making yourself available to, to implement these things? Well, I think, it, you know, it starts, I mean, there always has to be the first one. Yeah. You know, so Winston, there always has to be that, that first person that has to take that big step. Now, at CAS Severn, what we've garnered through having project success after project success is having a customer base that's willing to take that first step with us. So we're typically able to find, you know, someone was that first person who decided to take a look at, you know, encrypting uh, their, their tape storage so they didn't, you know, end up in the, you know, in the Wall Street Journal <laughs> right. when a tape fall off the back of the truck. There was always that first person that did that. But again, being you able have to the show, track record. You have the track record now. success in that track record in there, again, because CS Severn isn't looking at doing fulfillment. We're looking at providing those intelligent answers, those real solutions that have that profound impact. They'll go on a journey with us, a multi-year journey that you know we're really working together, striving to hit those business goals that they're using, getting IT from being a cost center to being an innovator in business. I love that. So let's, uh, for the folks that are watching and they want to do business with a multi-year recognized IBM partner, what's the best way to get more information or get in touch with you guys? Absolutely. Our website's probably the best uh, place to look, www.cassevern.com. That's www.cassevern.com. Perfect. Thanks, Winston. Joseph King, appreciate it. Absolutely. Winston Edmondson, Studio B, checking out.